today I'm in New Milford and I want to show you something really, really neat and unique. And it's maybe about 500 feet in front of me right now. Built in 1895, this giant lenticular bridge is one of the last of its kind. She is reveringly known as the Lover's Leap Bridge. And I think there's a lot of symbolism here, as you'll see throughout many areas, there are locks to be found. The bridge behind me once served as an access route for both pedestrians and for cars up until the 1970s when it got shut down and was replaced by what you see just a little north of me right there. Now it's only used as an historical access landmark. A certain folklore was created behind this bridge where supposedly back in the I believe 1700s or thereabouts in pre-revolutionary days there was an Indian princess who was the daughter to the chief Warmog whom there's a lake a little north of here named after um, she had met a white man that she fell in love with and they were together for a while, but then he disappeared. On the day she decided to take her own life after supposedly being cast off to another man from within the tribe as set forth by her father, she was going down in a boat on this very river right here that led to the falls that would ultimately lead to her own death. Um, but her supposed original white boyfriend came about and saw her going down the river at that very same moment. He too plunged into the river. And as they say, somewhere around here, there's a waterfall where they both cast themselves to their very own death which hence uh, Lover's Leap the name has uh, decided to come about from As you can see, it's very well crafted, very meticulous. I believe this bridge was created by, well, you can see it right here, as a matter of fact. I think you can it'll show up, yes. The Berlin, or Berlin, as Connecticutians pronounce it, Iron Bridge Company out of East Berlin, Connecticut, 1895. And that's where I drove from earlier today when I did my Middletown vlog, coincidentally. Connecticut's a small state, it's a small world. And uh, hey, let's see uh, where some of these trails take us because there's markers everywhere.
looking at uh, the new bridge. And there's Lover V. Again, supposedly the story goes that the, the couple jumped into the river and went over in a waterfall. So you could see the water actually is running from here to there. Uh, maybe they jumped from around this spot, but the bridge was definitely not created at the time. And who's to say that the actual story is uh, holds any truth? I'm kind of tempted to show you a little bit of uh, downtown, the inner workings of New Milford itself. Because it is actually a wonderful small town, not too far away from the New York border. But I've never been here before, and frankly, I find this to be a little bit more interesting. So I could foresee an, a definite part two to this new Milford vlog. Uh, let's carry on for a few more minutes before it gets too dark and. Uh, See what happens. Jeez. I have no idea what any of this is. There was definitely some kind of structure here before, and staircase that now leads to nowhere. Maybe it was an old mill here or something. Who knows? Some old foundations for sure. You see the rubble here. I don't have time to do any research right now, but if anyone here watching this video is an expert as to what kind of rubble that I'm looking at on this side trail, uh, very, very close to the Lover's Leap Bridge, please let me know in the comments below, and I would greatly appreciate that. I like to learn tons of new tidbits about my state because well i like to think i know at least one factoid or one place to see visit stop eat at whatever my spare time i definitely don't know everything it's kind of hard to account for 169 towns when you think about it Connecticut is kind of like one massive, super sprawled out city, you could say, with many, many, many different identities. Yeah, Connecticut's kind of got an identity crisis. It doesn't really know what it wants or what it wants to be. But this is really neat. This, this was something big over here, but... And, uh... Frankly, at this point, I want to go for my first hike already. I'm not really sure if I'm ready for this. It's going a little deeper in the woods, and it kind of hugs the Housatonic River a little bit. I don't think I'm going to go any further. So... All I can say is, if you're in New Milford, come check out these ruins 
that are right by the Lover's Leap Bridge at the Lover's Leap Park. I don't really tell you which part of New Milford we're in, but I think we're in the southern part. Like in the southeast area, somewhat closer towards. Uh, well, I'm just guessing here between Bridgewater and Danbury. But that's neither here nor there. So, yeah, come check it out. And then if you're feeling adventurous and you want to see more of the Who's a Tonic over there, go to some place like Cornwall and take a kayak down and hit those Class 5 rapids that we've got. Connecticut's got it all, including scary hobos that will be here and whatnot. So. I am going to get the hell out of here. Till next time, folks. See ya.